I'm a reporter, and I recently came back from the United States, and I'm working on a documentary about Muslim transsexual sex workers in Malaysia. I've always been very interested in uh, diversity, and in particular, sexual diversity. And the main reason why I wanted to work on uh, this topic, in particular, transsexualism, was simply because I wanted to show a different side of, of transsexualism in Malaysia in regards to Islam, and also sex work, in particular. And this goes both ways too, you know, for folks who are, are religious. Um, you know, we also need to understand them as well and how the fatwa against sex change operations came to be. We need to understand that as well. Malaysia is a place right now that we have a lot, we have spaces to talk, unlike before. I mean, when before, when I, before I left the U.S., I think things were, were very different. But now we actually do have a place for conversation, for safe conversation. So we should totally milk that. Secara ringkas filem dokumentari ini iaitu berjudul Pilihan Raya Umum ke-12 Demokrasi atau Rebutan Kerusi menyingkap perjuangan bersih gabungan Pilihan Raya Bersih dan Adil memperjuangkan reformasi Pilihan Raya Umum di Malaysia kerana kita sedari bahawa rakyat diberikan ruang yang sangat terhad untuk sama-sama terlibat dalam uh, memberikan kontribusi mereka kepada demokrasi. Perkara yang menaik dalam sebuah filem adalah uh, apabila filem-filem uh, tersebut berhubung dengan perkara-perkara yang kontroversi. Jadi pembatalan dakwah kekal pada hari-hari terakhir, pada empat hari terakhir sebelum pilihan raya umum ke-12 adalah persoalan yang ingin kami ketengahkan sangat serius dalam dokumentari ini. Kerana dalam pembatalan tersebut itulah yang menyebabkan pilihan raya ini masih tidak adil. So the film is basically about this bunch of guys in a hip hop group trying to replicate what Nama We did last year, but from a different angle. They will try to address the issue of religion, which is normally not discussed in Malaysian society, and it's basically to test the water and see how far they can go in doing this. The film will be intertwined between the making of the music and also interviews that we have conducted, interviews of experts who were involved in recent events such as the apostasy issue, Islamic State issue. So in the end, I think what we hope for through this movie, through this short documentary is that is to show the young people that we can, we can address these issues. It doesn't have to be just entertainment. Art or music is a powerful tool for us to use to communicate. And therefore, we should make the most of it.